fucking kidding me? What a fucking piece of trash. Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we're going to be talking about the Hunter Leaf Quest. This is the leaf to get the staff and the bow. This is the best bow you get other than the crossbow out of AQ40. Uh, but basically, in a nutshell, this is going to be one of the best bows you get for a long time. You get this out of Molten Core. The leaf drops off of Major Domo. Um, you do need a second piece to this quest that drops off of Nixia, and that is the Black Sinew. Um, you need both those pieces to actually get the bow. However, to start the quest, you only need the Ancient Petrified Leaf off of Major Domo. Uh, then you can go ahead and start the quest and killing the four demons in preparation for that Black Sinew. So what you can do, go in, start doing the demons. That's what this video is going to be all about, is talking about those demons. Once you get the sinew, you can come back in and turn it in. Uh, there is another type of sinew. That's the blue sinew that drops off of the world bosses. Uh, if you want that one, uh, also, uh, you just go ahead and kill one of the world bosses. You get an opportunity, and it gives you a quiver. But this is going to be directly focused on the bow and the staff. So here we are in Fellwood. Um, you're going to be talking to one of these ancients to start the quest. Uh, you should see a map on your screen right now. That map will give you a location of where we are in Fellwood. On top of which, then, uh, you'll go and do the four demons. So once you've got this quest and you've turned it in, we'll go ahead and do the demons first. Uh, I just want to make a note with this video. Uh, I did this. This is all past. Uh, it's already happened. So when I'm recording this, um, I already have the bow. Um, I went through and did each one of these, um, died multiple times on many of them. I am not the best player in the world, uh, but I want to give an opportunity for all of you to see that. So at the beginning of the video, I will show you and talk to you about how I killed the demon, move on to the next demon, move on to the next demon. Uh, and at the end, after everything's done and we have the bow, um, I will play over all the deaths that I had uh, in there in a kind of a, a montage kind of thing. That gives you the opportunity to look at what happened in certain situations. So I hope this video helps. Let's go ahead and jump into the winter spring demon all right so here we are in winter spring to get the first demon down uh, all these demons are going to have disguises on initially they're going to be walking around as someone docile and really be someone bad uh, in this case it's a torn walking around in the northern half of winter spring you'll see them uh, if you just extract demons on as you can see i have on right here it'll pop up on your main map and you can find them uh, his name in uh, hidden form is going to be Artorus the Amenable. If I slaughter any of these names, I truly apologize. Do the best I can. Um, he spawns at 6013 and then wanders the valley in that area. Um, but you want to pull him when he gets a little bit further down because the goal is you're going to pull him out of uh, where all the minions spawn, take him to the road and try to run him down. Uh, just a heads up, anyone touches him, does anything, it's going to reset and it really sucks. You get about three attempts on him, uh, assuming how fast you do it. Uh, if you need to, feign death. Uh, the key on this boss is going to be are going to be certain items. One is make sure you have your hotkey set up. Um, so you can see I here have here, I have one for my uh, auto attack, two for my rank one arcane shot, three for my serpent sting, four is going to be my concussive shot, and five is going to be my scatter shot. Uh, I am a literally a spec just for this. Newman, my hunter runs Beast Mastery. I literally built a spec basically based off of running uh, pretty much Serpent Sting on every single one of the guys because that's in general what you're going to be using. You're really not going to have as much time on a lot of these to do anything beyond Serpent Sting um, and then Concussive Shot and just keep running from them. Uh, with this one, you're going to want to put on Aspect of the Cheetah, and you have to keep a range from him. Uh, it's over 30 yards, otherwise he gives you a giant debuff. You can use a Purifying Potion to get out of the first one on this, um, but really, in general, one of the key things you just really need for all of these fights is going to be having crap loads of mana pots. Uh, mana pots are going to be the difference between you making it and not making it. Um, basically, what you're going to do with this one, you're just going to run, you're going to kite him, uh, you're going to turn and use Serpent Sting to do most of your damage, um, but with that being said, uh, on top of it, you have to use your arcane shot to keep them aggro to you. If you don't use your arcane shot on cooldown, this is, this is why it's rank one, uh, you, he won't stay aggroed on you and you won't kill him fast enough. Because of the spec I am, it helps out a little bit. Um, I believe this guy took about four attempts on me. Uh, I failed him the first time, obviously, um, but just trying to keep him on Serpent Sting on there. Uh, he's also weak to Serpent Sting, but most of these bosses, you're just going to use Serpent Sting because it's so much easier of a kite method uh, to do it. So make sure you work on your jump turn method. So basically what you want to do you want to run you want to jump spin shoot your shot and spin back and continue moving forward it's the easiest way to keep moving at the speed you need to um, and keeping that distance that you need on him 
So let's go ahead and pull up the actual kill video and talk about what I'm doing and if I make any mistakes during the kill. All right, so at this point, I have already tried him a couple times. As I said, um, this is where I actually am going to kill him. So let's go ahead and start rolling the video and we can watch this thing as a group here. Um, on this one. Um, so you're going to see me place down a frost trap uh, right in front of me so we can slow him down a little bit more. I'm going to try to get off a nice aim shot, multi shot, concussive shot all at once just to really try to slow him down um, and keep moving. Then you're going to see me turn. I have aspect of the cheetah on. All I have is true shot or uh, I do walk here, try to grab a couple auto shots because he's a little extra slow here. Um, and then I'm watching down here for his debuff location uh, to keep make sure Serpent Sting stays up. And as you see, I'm jump turning. Um, you don't have to go the full way, um, but just kind of clipping him to the side really quick um, and then trying to see turn your angle so that you can use that arcane shot and keep it on him um, pretty much on cooldown is the goal here so as you can see i'm trying to keep an eye of where he's at uh, trying to continue keep moving getting him up onto this road up here um, and continue to move him as you see here i got popped by the um, debuff my purification potion did not work initially so i was in a really bad spot then it worked um, so i had to get quickly moving so i use a concussive shot to keep moving here um, and then continuing to keep that aim shot up um, and then i took it again uh, luckily my purification potion was still ticking so i got to dump it again uh, i do not make a perfect run on this one but i still pull it off you can see his health slowly ticking away because because of that serpent sting, I'm trying to continue to jump spin, jump spin. Um, I do much better in the Angora one with this specific method of killing the um, demons. At this point, his speed's going to start to slow down, so you should be able to sneak in a couple extra things. As I said, I'm just trying to focus on keeping that serpent sting up. You can see it falls off every once in a while. He slows down. I turn on to an auto shot. Um, I forget that serpent sting's not up at this point. I should have it back up, and I'm not. Um, hopefully I get it here um, as you can see I'm having problems with my jump spins there's the serpent sting back up there's the arcane shot as we continue to slow him down um, I'll turn around here in a moment uh, and use a couple auto shots because of how slow he's going um, and hopefully keeping him up there as I said though I'm trying to use that arcane shot on cooldown um, and get it done uh, as his life begins to drop you can see he's super slow um, I'll start shooting him here um, getting some free auto shots in um, because of how slow he moves and making it really really easy for myself uh, he's going to slowly take down at this point. Once you get him past about 50% health, he's so slow that it's pretty easy to kill him. You can see he's already lost his Hunter's Mark at this point. Um, I'm not fighting with the Hunter's Mark to keep it up because Serpent Sting does most of your damage anyhow. Um, and you'll see that he's just going to fall over here in a minute, and I will get the head. It was far from a perfect run, far from anything I did, um, and uh, but it got done, and that's the key is trying to get him done and getting that first piece of the head. So with that being said, that's our first head that we are going to get completed. Um, we are going to go ahead and move on to the next one. The next one we're going to do is in Silithus. Uh, for the one in Silithus, um, I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend that you bring a Warlock friend with you. It makes it super, super easy. Um, and honestly, um, you really should just do it with Warlock Friend. There's really not an easier way to do it. Even if you can pay someone to do it, it makes it 10 times easier. Um, and it's a super easy fight. So let's go ahead and jump to that one and start talking about it. All right, so here we are. We are at Silithus. You can see my Warlock Friend, uh, Chonky, is helping me out here. Uh, he's going to... What's going to end up happening is we are going to duel right before we pull him. Uh, he will put Curse of Recklessness on me so that when um, I'm kiting this guy around and everything, he doesn't fear me and no problems and we're done um, because he can't help me normally, but that allows him to give me Curse of Recklessness to make it super duper easy. Um, we're going to pull him. You want to try to pull him right in front of the gates of AQ right before the steps. Reason being, it's a very wide open area where you can complete this. Um, the key to this guy is you have to understand there's two things. First off, um, really in general, he's going to spawn a bunch of bugs. Don't get clipped by the bugs. Keep on aspect of the cheetah um, and just shoot him down and move. Um, the one thing you do need to know, though, using wing clip allows you to stun him in place and just do a ton of damage to him. Um, so what I like to do uh, is just try to get in there, clip him really quick with a link whip and keep running my butt right through it. Um, you can put on uh, switch into monkey here, but I really just kept on cheetah for most of it. Um, minus you might see me flip a couple times to monkey in the middle of the fight just when he's coming up about to hit me so I don't get dazed. Um, um, but at the same time, all you got to do is not get hit by the bugs um, and just shoot them down and we'll go ahead and watch this. My health gets pretty low in this one. Um, I do believe I use a... Uh, uh I use a health stone uh, and a man a pot and a health pot. So let's go ahead and enjoy the video on this one. Um, as I said, he's also going to help me with the bugs, so he'll clear out some of the bugs here for me, um, and it'll make it really nice. The guy we're looking for, um, since I didn't say it, um, is going to be uh, Nelson the Nice. He's a little um, gnome running around. You can see him right there. 
Um, there he is. We're going to kill these bugs, clear out the distance. We're going to pull him right where his location is. Um, as I said, my warlock friend's going to go ahead and kill that guy. That guy's already done. We're going to run over uh, and start him. Um, and he will become Sol Solinar the Slayer, uh, assuming that is correct. Um, we'll talk to him, get him started, and get ready to face him um, and get the duel started. So he's going to go ahead and trade me the Hellstone. We're going to start the duel. You're going to see I'm going to try to talk to him. I'm waiting for him to cast the Curse of Lucknesses. as I'm watching my timers. There's the Curse of Recklessness. I start it. Um, we're going to back up. Since we're in a duel, there's nothing I can do about frost trapping or anything um, until this happens. So that's not combat anymore. Luckily, I got that down just in time. Scatter shot. Move on. Shoot him a little bit. Drop my Hunter's Mark. Um, as I said, this doesn't go perfectly. I'll walk up, link, clip him, wing clip him, and then you see he's rooted. He did catch a daze on me. It stinks. Um, but it's the way it is. Um, I turn Cheetah off and I put on Hawk and I start doing my DPS. Aim shot, multi shot, all that kind of fun stuff. Making sure not to get clipped by these bugs. Uh, if you get hit by all these bugs, you're in bad shape. So just kind of kite them around using your um, frost trap that you've laid down. Um, you can see that's now gone. So basically all I need to do is keep stepping forward, doing damage, waiting for him to come hit me or get out of that rooted state. Um, in which case then I will go ahead and just wing clip him again. As you can see here, getting ready, wing clip, move away. He's going to hit me once and move on. And we're going to continue casting. Um, there is a debuff that he does cast on you. It stinks. My, uh, I do get a scorpion to spawn, but as I said, my warlock friend ran over and helped me. Um, while staying around that pole, you can see to the left with the duel um, to make sure it doesn't happen. Uh, continuing to DPS and down, um, at this point he's at 60%, uh, and we're just going to use aim shot, multi shot. Um, we're going to pop this health stone um, that my friend gave me, uh, and then pop a mana pot and continue to DPS this guy down. My gear is not the best either, just to be clear, um, but it's pretty much pre raid best in slot. I missed my wing clip here, which was terrible, took a ton of damage. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and continue hitting him. That was really close, and I took an excessive amount of damage that I didn't need to take. Um, but luckily, I get a couple lucky crits in here and bring him down before I fall over. Because uh, this is kind of a health fight. You could get like Fort and all that kind of stuff to help you out here. Um, I'm literally, you can see to your right, uh, only running a mongoose. Uh, and a uh, plus 10 stam drink uh, so that helps so as you can see his health is going to slowly drop down uh, i need to wing clip him one more time um, i catch it he i get lucky and miss his attack uh, i think if i did not get lucky and miss his attack um, it would have been bad so we're going to go ahead and do that uh, i did bandage as you just saw briefly targeted myself bandaged um, and then hope to get him down um, and continuing to stay around that pole and kiting him back and forth. Um, he's at 9% at this point, and we will go ahead and get him down. Um, this aim shot plus a multi shot pretty much puts him down um, at this point because I'm out of mana, I'm out of health stones, I'm out of tricks, and he falls over. Uh, and then basically all you need to do is feign death, and the bugs go away, and then you go loot your brand new head that you just got. Um, if in this situation, like you see mine, where I can't loot him, um, it's because you're in a party with your warlock buddy. He needs to go up and loot the body so you have access to the head to get it. So you'll see him walk up, he'll loot the body, and then I'll loot the body. And I get the head, and that is the Silithus quest right there. Um, boom, right there's the head, and that is the Silithus one. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, I don't do a lot of these with buffs uh, and many other things, so we'll go ahead and jump into uh, the next one. Uh, the next one we're going to do is the Winter Spring one. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump into the Winter Spring one. Uh, that one we're going to use a glitch for, um, do it by ourselves. Um, as you saw earlier, bad things can happen with it, but we'll go ahead and catch up with that one here in a moment. All right, so we're back and it's burning steps. I think I might have said winter spring earlier, but it's burning steps, burning steps, burning steps. Um, you're going to be in burning steps um, right in the middle. You can see the map right in front of you. Um, however, you want to pull this guy closer to the tree when you can, uh, but because of some situations that happened with a hunter, as you saw earlier with the dragon getting pulled on me and stuff, he was in a really real location so I could get this guy done. Um, with that being said, though, uh, I do complete him here and I use the tree glitch. Um, really, all you need to do here is have your mana pots. You can put on demon slaying, keep on hawk, really, as long as you don't miss the jump too severely um you should be fine to do it so what you're going to see is i'm going to run over uh, i'm going to drop a frost trap kind of shoot this guy um, and try to get myself in location properly um here he is over to our left uh he's the one that looks like in infernal his normal name uh you're going to find him in his standard place is a human and his name is franklin the friendly um in this case he's going to be kill fran the crazed is who we're looking at so uh, i'm going to get my health up uh drop my aspect to the the pack or aspect of uh the hawk drop my trap down get my hunter's mark on him uh and prep everything you can see i'm getting everything ready 
um, and dropping that stuff on me and getting ready to pop all the fun buffs. Um, I get a dragon that comes from the right, but I think um, I should be good here and we'll go ahead and pull them here in a second. But I wanted to show you the prep on that pull um, before we went too hard in. We're going to wait for the dragon to pat by. And then I will begin the pull once again. So you're going to see me come up. We're going to start with the name shot, um, concussive shot, all that fun stuff. Trying to drop as much damage as possible, as quickly as possible on this guy. Uh, if you want to do him yourself, um, what you can do is you can do Scorpid Sting. If you put Scorpid Sting on him, uh, make some 1 HP, and then you can wing clip um, and try to just melee him down because he's susceptible to melee and he doesn't do that much damage. Or as I said, you can kind of do it this way if you want to, um, where you're going to kite him. Uh, as you can see, I have a little bit further to kite than normal, um, but basically I'm going to kite him to the tree that we're looking to get at um, you can see i'm kiting him over here and then this tree forces him to go around so once i jump up on this tree i'm going to show you one thing that we want to talk about really quick so this tree when you get on this ledge make sure you are on the actual tree you see these branches you want to stand right behind them and actually on the tree if you jump to the side um, either side where you're just floating there's a possibility where he can reset and that's terrible for you um, but what this does is it causes him to have to pat so he's going to pat all the way over here come up this branch come all the way over here and when he gets about here i'll jump down and start shooting him again as he comes back around and then we just run back and forth as he continues to try to get me just like a standard reset point that you would have in dungeons you can see him making his way over i'm auto attacking auto shooting him trying to keep up hunter's mark the best i can and keep him down so you're going to see him jump over here you're going to see me jump off and then we're going to go ahead and could do that uh, and keep whacking away at him with our our um, bow uh, now that we've got him in a good spot i pop my demon potion I jump back up, Demon Slaying Potion. You can see I have to step back up because I did not initially grab the right part of the tree. Just as long as when he goes on the tree, you are standing on the actual tree, you'll be fine. Uh, and we'll continue to auto-attack him down. Uh, in general, this is all you're going to do. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Uh, I don't think all of you want to see that, so we're going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Uh, we can all watch it together and speed it up. And we'll get towards the end, or if I see any mistakes, we'll talk about it. So in this case, you're going to see he gets a little glitchy, um, but I got lucky there that he didn't reset. Um, that was almost a mistake on my pull. I shouldn't have scatter shot at him. Um, I'm also not keeping up my hunter's mark like I should, um, so I'll jump back up uh, and try to get back up there um, and really do that. Um, when he is in berserker mode, though, it's hard to get him to do extra damage. Um, I try to keep Serpent Sting up, but he will wipe it away every once in a while. Uh, but we're getting him down there um, and I've already kind of run low on mana at this point so but the catch with this one which is really nice is even if you run out of mana all you have to do is keep auto attacking him and jumping up and down Mana's not the end of the road just makes it a little bit faster so you don't have to blow that mana pot uh, but you can see we're down to 20 percent at this point um, we're just going to auto him down nothing major occurs anymore at this point um, if he ever does try to get really close you feel like something's going to be off make sure you have access to that scorpid thing it can be rank one totally fine um uh, actually, I apologize. It can't be rank one. It has to be the max damage uh, Scorpid Sting. I apologize um, before I said that, but it has to be the highest rank Scorpid Sting. So cast that if you need to. But as I said, in general, um, as long as you're jumping up and down, you can do it earlier and later. It completely depends on you, um, but you can jump early, late, and then he slows down. And then we'll just go ahead uh, and get this guy down here really quick. Um, even though he takes a lower amount of damage from range, it makes it super duper easy. Uh, and then you get the third head and that moves us on to the fourth one which is going to be an ungoro crater and we'll see you guys back there in a minute all right welcome to ungoro crater you're going to see the hardest way possible to go ahead and do this um, normally what you want to do is up by the hot springs there's a way, place where you can run around the lake i get to the lake at the end of the video um, but in this part I am starting literally from the southernmost portion. Uh, there was a problem with another hunter. They wanted to keep starting him over here. Then they gave up on it. And I said, you know what? I can pull this off um, and make it happen. So basically what we're going to use here is we're going to use a method where... Um, uh, we're going to kite it basically for a long time. You're going to see that whole kite. Um, but this is going to be the last demon that we're going to show you because this is the last demon that you need. Um, this is Simone the Seductress uh, or Simone the Inconspicuous as she is when she's in troll form uh basically what happens is once you talk to her she will spawn a big giant fell hunter and herself there are two of them 
Uh, she does a ton of nature damage. Um, so once I get done kiting her, uh, if I needed to and I go to fight her, you can use Aspect of the Wild uh, to give yourself some nature resist. But really what the goal here is, is you, all you have to do is kill her. You don't have to kill the demon. And because how we're kiting, what we're going to end up doing uh, in this situation is I'm going to drop a freezing trap. Um, that's the one that actually ice blocks something. Uh, I'm going to unload with an aim shot, multi shot, concussive shot onto her after I hunt her marker. Um, and the reason being is uh, the concussive shot is to slow her down so the pet walks through uh, the trap. There is a chance where you can get it to reset where the pet doesn't come with her. Um, I never got it once. Um, obviously, the location I'm in is a very bad location to start this thing. But as I said, um, we're going to go ahead and hit her. And then at that point, I'm going to use Serpent Sting and rank uh, max rank Serpent Sting and rank one arcane shot to keep her coming every once in a while sneaking in an auto attack as I can um, and you're going to see me kiting her literally through mobs and dents and stuff all the way to the uh, lake where you want to kite her and run around the circle because there are no mobs um, once you get to that point you're in a good spot um, and you want to try to spawn her because she spawns in the same location and ends in that same location but as I said we had an issue with a hunter so I got this really garbage spot to do her uh, but I got her done um, so let's go ahead and do go ahead and show you the video so you're going to see me load up here. Um, we're going to get some mana here really quick. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and open up on her um, as I prep myself because you're going to use concussive shot, possibly wing clip too if you need it on the fell hunter. Um, so you're going to see an aim shot, multi shot. This is the only time I'm actually going to use it into a concussive shot into her. So she slows down, making sure the pet walks into the trap. Once he's in the trap, I'm going to go ahead and start kiting her as I standard would. Put Cheetah on. Um, I put Pack on by accident, but that's fine. Um, keeping Serpent Sting up, trying to sneak in an auto attack here and there, uh, and then just start the kite. So as you can see here, when she gets too close to you, she gives you this debuff. Um, you can see here I currently have this debuff um, when she's too close or casts it on you. It's called the Temptus kiss which reduces your attack power by 1500 in a range situation um i lose it here obviously the serpent sting is not based off of range damage that's why we can still kill her even if we catch it um, but the nice part of this kite and everything uh, in general is you shouldn't get that if you want to you can use a uh, viper sting um, and it silences her so that she is unable to cast that on you uh, and you continue to use the range thing um, but as i said i'm using serpent sting to bring her the whole way down i am potting super early here because I need to. Uh, you can see the fell hunter's not even close yet because we've got so much distance between us uh, as I continue to kite, try to get an auto shot. As I said, I got that um, uh, debuff on me. If she gets too close to you and you give her time to cast, though, she will cast a chain lightning on you. It actually hurts pretty good. Um, but in general, see, there it is. And so then I got dazed. Um, I've got chain lightning on me at this point and I'm waiting for the daze to come off. Um, but because of how I'm kiting her and using serpent sting, it's not the end of the world. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and keep doing that, um, trying to get those auto shots in and those arcane shots. So we're going to continue progressing through here. She's at 56%. Um, at this point, the uh, fell demon is starting to catch up with fell hunter. You can see it catching up. So what's going to happen here is you're going to every once in a while see me tab target it to uh, concussive shot it. Um, as I continue to make my way towards the lake, as you see it coming up here on the mini map right now, you can see it showing up on here. And we're going to continue kiting her, continue kiting her. Um, I'm still focused on her. She is my goal right now. Um, and I'm going to try to start sneaking in some auto attacks now that we're in a clear spot where I can continue to kite her. See, so the lake has no enemies, so I can kind of turn around, try to grab an auto attack here and there, um, and try to get it done to where she doesn't do it. So you can see I'll step up, auto attack, um, run, uh, do an arcane shot. Make sure my, my uh, serpent sting stays up. Um, we're making it to the lake now, trying to sneak in everything I can. I got 30 seconds until my uh, mana pot comes, sneak in an auto attack and continue to run as she's going slow. Um, and then the demon's going to catch up. When the demon catches up, I have to use a concussive shot. Uh, but as I said, I think we do one full lap and then I just decide I'm out of mana, I'm out of tricks. We're just going to take her down uh, and I just stand there and fight her out until I can feign death on her. So we're going to kite her around, continue to kiting her with that rank one arcane. Now I've lost my serpent sting because you see my I'm out of mana for six more seconds. So I'm going to make sure I auto attack as much as I can um, and try to get as much damage as done as possible. I clip it there because I know they're getting close. And if I get caught, I'm in bad shape. Um, she's at 21% at this point. Um, we have not used a concussive shot on the fell hunter. I'm going to sneak in an auto attack there um, and then hit her with another serpent sting just to make sure it's up and an arcane shot. 
um, and continue to fight her. At this point, I'm looking at my mana going, I'm almost out. She's almost dead. This guy doesn't hit that hard. I have full HP at this point. Let's just take her down. So basically at this point, I go ahead and just unload everything I got on her until um, she hits the right button. So then she gives me the range debuff and I say, okay, I can't do anything more. Uh, I got my range debuff and I step in and start meleeing her for the last little bit. Take her down. Once she dies, um, I actually make sure I loot the head because this was the second time I killed her because the first time I was unable to loot the head. Uh, feign death drop the aggro, and then I have all four demon heads. Uh, as I said, this was not perfect. I am not the greatest hunter in the world. Uh, I did these the easiest way possible uh, and, the, and the cheapest way possible. They may take a little bit longer, but through consistency and practice and multiple deaths, you will get them too. Uh, it's not the end of the world. So let's go ahead and jump to the end where we need to talk about a couple things that you need to do uh, right at the end uh, when you go ahead and turn in for the bow, when you have the Sinu, all four demon heads. Um, and you've already started the quest, so let's go ahead and jump to that really quick. So at this point, we are back in Fellwood. Um, we are going to talk to the same guy that we talked to on the first time to get the quest. Um, we'll talk to him, and then we give him the demon heads plus the Sinu. Um, and actually not the Sinu, because the Sinu we have to combine with... Um, all the other stuff you get the ancient staff i'm sorry you get the ancient staff once you have the ancient staff then you can use it with the sinew once you have the sinew um, you combine them together uh, to create the bow um, once you have the bow then you can go ahead and turn it talk to another one and grab the actual um stave itself because you get a stave with demon slaying on it so you can see here this is where you turn in on this guy you turn in the sinew um, that's the blue sinew on that one. And then you turn it in and get it from these guys where you get the stave, you get the bow, you get all the good stuff and you're ready to go and you have everything you could ever want off of those guys. Make sure you talk to them. You get the stave in there. The stave is not a quest. Make sure you talk to them again um, because it's just a little chat bar and you get the stave, you get your bow and you're ready to go. So I hope this video helps you. Um, as I said, though, we're going to place a bunch of deaths, some funny stuff that happened to me while I was doing these. Um, so you guys can enjoy that after this. If you don't want to watch those and don't want to see those mistakes, um, don't mind uh just go ahead and end the video here but thank you so much for coming if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe hit that bell for notifications uh if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you have anything to add or you feel like i did something really way harder than it needed to be that i didn't bring up myself um please let me know in the comments down below but as always i hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next episode of the lemur's corner